Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Galaxy J7 Prime versus the Galaxy C7 here on the right. So I'll be doing a comparison and a camera test also. So um, let's just boot them up at the same time. I did the speed test with the other Sammy boys. We had the A7, um, the, the J7 2016, so you can check those videos out on my channel. Uh, C7 is like the most, you can say, better phone when it comes to specs. Has 4 gigs of RAM, you know. And uh, also it's like slimmer. I really like the shape and design of the C7. So you can see it is faster in booting up. Just a little bit compared to the J7 Prime. And uh, the new thing with the J7 Prime that they have introduced and they might continue with, of course, their flashy phones also is that you can just unlock your phone by just having the thumb on the on the home button previously you had to press the home button to wake the phone up but now it just works like this so okay pretty nice and uh, let's just uh, get right into the apps opening you can see everything is closed in the background the same Wi-Fi network and uh, let's start off with the basic Phone dialer, the same time, go. Hmm, okay, seems like the C7 was a little bit faster there. Let's uh, check out gallery. Thing almost the same. Let's see here, we have the calculator. And let's move towards some third party stuff. So we have temple run here. Uh, go and again a uh, 5.7 inch display of course this one well look at the speed it just flies through the loading times And if I remember correctly, this uh, C7, of course, it doesn't have the, uh, what do you call, um, a Exynos chipset. It's actually having a Qualcomm chipset. I think it's Snapdragon 652, I think. So let's uh, go ahead and try out Play Store. And uh, whoa, look at that, J7 Prime faster. But the, the C7 just finished off a little bit faster, you know, loading the overall apps. Uh, but again, that was pretty close. Let's uh, move on towards uh, our next game that will be Gunfu. And again, you guys are the judge here. Okay, so there's a Google Play thing popped up, but they were pretty much equal there. Let's uh, check out Tinder. J7 Prime. And let's try out Kyora. Pretty much the same. Let's uh, check out the Subway Surfer. Another game we have. And uh, this J7 Prime, of course, is also 1080p display, but it's a TFT display, so you'll see difference in the colors, especially in uh, the whites, you know. And I think C7, that C7 is done. And let's try out the uh, Reddit. Again, Galaxy C7 is faster. Um, let's try out something like something like Smash Hit. Okay. Same time. Okay, Galaxy C7, you can see faster. And let's try out Instagram. That will be our last application, or second last application. So let's uh, go. Okay. Uh, Galaxy C, uh, I think the Galaxy J7 Prime a little bit faster. We're loading the feed there. So 
let's try out camera and uh, finish off this apps opening battle we have and the J7 Prime is faster there so um, again uh, we got like more horsepower on the J uh, on the C7 so yeah it's performing better but J7 Prime of course uh, doing all it can to battle this boy so of course price difference is there almost like hundred hundred twenty dollar price difference between these two phones so let's uh, go ahead and uh, launch the internet browser and do the browsing test on uh, both of these two phones so I'll be clearing up the history on uh, this bad boy here so you can see the differences between the uh, Super AMOLED and TFT display uh, really nice colors on the Super AMOLED I like it a lot uh, let's start off with the Amazon here and see which one uh, will prevail so uh, wow, that was close. I th think maybe the J7 Prime was faster. But you can see scrolling is really smooth on both phones. No lag whatsoever. So uh, let's move on towards uh, Wikipedia, baby. Let's see. The Galaxy C7 is done and followed by the J7 Prime. <clears throat> Uh, let's try out one more website, which is going to be the final, final battle here, Yahoo. And uh, the Galaxy C7 is just a hair bit quicker here. So yeah, C7 overall does perform better. And now the main part is the multitasking can four gigs of ram help c7 to perform better or not let's see here phone dollar both phones are good here let's uh check out gallery and there goes the first refresh with the j7 prime we're gonna move towards temple run wow look at the difference I mean, the J7 Prime actually has 3 gigs of RAM, so it should perform better. I mean, 3 gigs of RAM is not bad, but look at that. It's just so many problems. Of course, I had this error thing popped up on the C7, so that is not counted for refresh. You see Instagram loaded nicely. And let's try opening up another game we have, Subway Surfer. You can see everything is the memory and this boy is refreshing so yeah definitely uh c7 is overall a beast you can say that you know the, this is like a samsung answer samsung's answer towards let's say the galaxy the one plus three you can say you know but yeah definitely one plus three is a better phone with the way higher specs but samsung did release something to compete with one plus three so i might do a speed test with that and uh, lastly, we're doing the, uh, what do you call, the fingerprint sensor test. So let's see here. So you don't have to wig the phone, uh, the J7 Prime. You just have to place your finger like this. So well, here you do have to wig it up. So look at the speed. Definitely the J7 Prime is faster here with the fingerprint sensor because it has this new thing where like I told you in my earlier videos also you just have to have your thumb here and it just unlocks you don't have to press it so yeah that's uh, it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it see you all in my next video have an awesome day